Here is analyzing five Biomutant screenshots pre-release, presented by none other than. Our first image features a Biomutant that is riding a mechanical horse. And I actually just did a video on the mounts and transportation of Biomutant that will be listed right up on the top here. On the back of our Biomutant is a pack. I love to see your equipment actually being stored on your Biomutant. I like to be able to see what I'm carrying and have it be part of my inventory. Like in Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, whatever weapons you're holding are featured on your character. He, you can't, they don't just disappear into thin air. They're actually slung around your back. And I, I would hope and I, I believe as we've, we're seeing in this image and some other content, the armor and weapons that you have on your body will be stored on your physical biomutant. We also have two biomes just featured in this one image. It seems that the biomutant is on the edge of a desert plain and can either turn around and go back towards the desert or he can take a few more steps further and he's onto green grass plains. And as well, I, I think that's the tree of life in the distance. Our next image is quite different than the last, being that our Biomutant is bare. He has no weapons on his back besides the pistol in his hand, and is also in mid-air shooting at these scorpion-like creatures. I wonder why he's in this basement. Is the Biomutant free roaming? Is it going on a quest that's taking him down in this path? What is in this basement? It seems bare. Has he looted it? Is this a beginning of the game sequence? Is there a reason why this Biomutant is not carrying a lot of gear? Does it have something to do with the environment? In my opinion, if this is a beginning of the game sequence and that's why it's not carrying a lot of loot, but could it be that it was a decision that this character made to lighten the load and continue into the basement without a lot of gear on their person for either mobility reasons or or for another reason that we're just not sure of. Next up is our companion grasshopper. And this grasshopper hasn't got too much of the limelight in all these trailers, but I have heard certain things that they can play a role in transportation, whether that's finding you a new mount or, or animal to ride whether it's pointing you in the right direction, or in this instance, is this grasshopper scouting the way, detecting enemies that are in sight, or is he telling you, all right, it's clear to go, go ahead and continue. Is that the role that this grasshopper will play? I guess we have yet to know. It's definitely a cool scene here as we have what looks to be a vacant temple in a desert plain. Within all of this, it seems as though there's high walls on either side, so are you down in a crevice? These are just interesting environmental features. Next up is what looks to be an NPC biomutant, but it could be a player character at a village that is definitely lush with healthy life given that it is a post-apocalyptic world. On the left side, we even see a tree that contains fruit. And this is something that we haven't seen in any of the gameplay trailers, which is maybe picking fruit off a tree, eating it. I love it when games do things like this, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is a feature in Biomute. For our last image here, we have a geared out Biomute. I mean, this guy looks like he's built with strength. His shoulders are wide, he's got shoulder pads on, leg gear, and is containing a heavy melee sword, which, I don't know, all signs point towards a physical melee character. As well as his appearance, there's also two decisions on the environment that he's presented with. Is it the left side? Does the Biomutant go up and explore the grunge post-apocalyptic buildings that probably contain some interesting loot? Or is it down to the right side that the Biomutant chooses to go, which is the lush animal-filled forest where maybe they can find a new mount hidden there? Overall in this scene, it's a beautiful day, so why not do both? And that is going to be it for this Biomutant video. If you're new to the channel, we post every Wednesday 
We try to get it uploaded by 3 p.m. Eastern Time. This game is coming out May 25th, and if you haven't joined the Hype Train already, I consider myself a conductor. And I will be continuing to post more and more content, probably about Biomune in the future. If you enjoyed, show me by liking, subscribing, commenting. If you didn't enjoy it, drop a dislike. Either way, I like the feedback. I've done trailer reactions in the past, and you can be sure to check those out. They'll pop up on the screen here towards the end. And with this, I'm going to leave the video here. This was part one of our Biomutant screenshots pre-release analyzation. Look out for more of these in the future because there's plenty of screenshots for us to dive into. I wish you all have a great day. Stay positive. Stay motivated. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.